here's the shrubs. I'm about to get this smothered okra on and popping. Alright guys, I am frying down my sausage. I know it looks like a lot of grease, but you have to have the uh, oil. Oil, I'm going to say grease. <laughs> oil. Because you have to fry down the okra, but you also want to fry your meat so it can bring out the flavor. I added my trinity in. Kind of, ooh, it's steaming. I don't know if you can see. There we go. I've added my Trinity in. And I'm going to saute that down. <laughs> Who knows what a Trinity is? Comment in the. Leave me a comment if you know what the trio Trinity is. The okra. I did leave it out to thaw a little bit. If you're lucky to get fresh okra, yay for you. But you can easily just go and pick it up in the grocery store, your local grocery store. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. The uh, sausage and the seasonings at the bottom of the pot. I'm just going to let it start cooking a little bit longer to heat back up. Because you know once you add frozen food, your, your heat will kind of go down. Once it starts heating back up, I will come back and show you how to fry down your okra. Okay, as you can see, I added garlic right here, and then I added onion powder and garlic powder to start developing my taste. And I'm just gonna mix that in. I'm sorry if it looks weird because I'm right-handed and holding <laughs> the camera and trying to stir. But I'm just gonna mix that in and let it cook down for another five minutes. I have split the crab, rinsed it really well. And the shrimp is also ready. So I just have to finish smothering down the okra. Alright guys, so here is what's going to help also cut the slime tomato paste. This is a 6 ounce jar, well 6 ounce can that I just got from my local grocery store. You can choose whichever one you like. All right guys, I'm gonna stir this in and I'm going to add water. Be right back. All right guys, you kinda add water as you go depending on how you like your okra, the looseness or thickness of it. I'm going to add some Slap Your Mama to this and let it cook down a little more. Alright guys, as you can see, the tomato paste and the water have combined it and cooked down. It almost has a soup consistency to it. Some people like it this way. I don't. So now I am going to add my dried shrimp and grab it. I got I should have opened this before I started recording. Right here we go. Good old dried shrimp. This is dried and ground shrimp. They didn't have the regular dried shrimp like what we normally use, but this will still give the flavor that we need. Just mix that in really well. And I'm about to add the crab. All right, I forgot to tell you, I'm also adding fresh shrimp in here. So I just added the shrimp. I'm gonna 
pepper that in as well guys this is a creole smothered okra recipe by the way in case you didn't know now i'm gonna add the crab be right back the crab and i'm gonna just mix it in so it can cook as so i think i need to add maybe a little more water because you know the seafood will take on some of the liquid and then i'm going to just put the lid on and let that finish cook Alrighty, righty, McMuffy, and here you go. The crab is cooked, as you can see. It's turned nice and red. It's taken on all the yummy seasonings. The shrimp is cooked. And here you go. Creole smothered okra. All right, guys, I tried to get some of the steam from the pot to kind of clear out, but here you have it. Like I said, the crab has turned nice and red. It's taking on all the yummy seasoning. The shrimp is cooked, and we normally serve this over a bed of fresh rice. Um, some people serve it with a side of meat. You can do fried chicken, baked chicken. Some people do like a roast or something like that. Or you can just eat it by yourself and maybe do a side of cornbread. So... Sorry if the quality wasn't all that well. I was shooting it with my phone while we were doing cooking and doing other things. But yeah, I wanted to show you guys how we cook Creole smothered okra. Let me know if you want to see any other cooking videos. Love you, Mook Mafia. Peace.